Hello, my name is Jemima Johnston. I'm Head of Corporate Immigration here at Gerson. And in this video, I'm going to look at how you determine what salary you need to pay somebody um, to be eligible for sponsorship under the skilled worker route. Before I look at the details of this issue, um, it's important to say your first step should be what salary would you pay to anybody uh, filling the type of role um, you're looking to employ somebody in. Uh, the government expects uh, sponsored individuals to be paid um, at a level with um, non, non-sponsored individuals, non-migrant workers. Secondly, um, it is absolutely possible to pay somebody well above the minima that the government set. They set minimum requirements, you can certainly go above those. There are three broad um, minima that the government set and your salary must meet all of those. So in other words, the, the highest one of those figures is going to be the most um, sort of pertinent for you. Starting with um, what is called the flat rate. Uh, so this is a rate that the government has set for all jobs, um, irrespective of the nature of the job, um, irrespective of whether it's somebody working part-time or full-time in that job. Uh, the only instance where hours matter when you are looking at the flat rate is if you have an individual who um, will contractually be working for more than 48 hours a week. If that's the case, you can only consider the first 48 hours worth of their salary towards meeting that flat rate total. Um, the, the flat rate that the government sets is 25,600 a year, um, but just as that was looking straightforward, they have also um, published a number of what we might call special characteristics, special criteria, which can drop that figure, can reduce it. Um, those characteristics, um, some may be about the nature of the individual who's being sponsored, some may be about the nature of the role itself, but they can reduce that figure at the lowest possible level to £20,480 a year. So you cannot ever pay somebody lower than that if you're looking to sponsor them under the skilled worker route. Um, the second minimum that you have to look at is uh, just an hourly rate minimum. Again, this applies to all jobs. The government has set £10.10 .10 an hour as the minimum figure that must be paid to anybody. The third minimum, just as it was looking simpler, this one is the most complex of all, and this is what's called the going rate or market rate um, level. And this is absolutely um, dependent on the nature of the job being filled and also on the hours worked. Um, this uh, can be uh, identified once you have decided which occupation code the job falls under and we have a whole separate issue uh, video addressing uh, how you determine that but once you know the SOC code you can look on the government website and it will tell you what rate you must pay annually based on in most cases a 39 hour working week afraid you need to be careful because for certain categories of job it's based on a different hourly level again this is the kind of thing we can advise on but in most cases it's a 39 hour working week and you must work out whether your rate, your salary will meet that pro rata so if you're uh, somebody will be working for more than 39 hours a week that figure is going to be slightly higher uh, less than 39 hours slightly lower when you look at those occupation codes and look for that figure you will also notice that there is not one figure given for an annual salary, but in fact four. So they're based on the full market rate, the 90%, 80% and 70% um, promotions of that figure. Back to the special characteristics I mentioned at the beginning when looking at the flat rate, if some of those characteristics apply, again, it could be the individual, it could be the role, instead of paying the market rate, you may only be required to pay a certain percentage of it. I hope this video has been useful. It's very much uh, introductory. I hope I flagged up where we will uh, be going into more detail in other videos. 
If you have an immediate question, please also, um, you can look at our website, uh, you can contact us on social media or via email, and we're very happy to take your questions. Thank you.